great new fridge. Kitchen. Looks okay. Needs a little updating. Now we got good bones in there. We got good mechanicals, all right? Like uh, the furnaces and the hot water tanks. Look at that footage. Look at that footage, man. Oh boy, them bad boys is shiny. If before you make that offer, you want to tour that vacant unit so you can get a see for yourself, kind of walk in that living room, take in the air, give a nice little waft, smell that old stale cigarette smell, get all up in there. That's cool too, man. Just send us an email. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't wise to be giving it to you straight. Folks, if you watch a lot of my shows, I talk about a few things pretty consistently, right? One of which is my extreme hate for that dirty shithole town, Portland. Holy crap, that place is a hellhole. Another couple things I talk about quite often. I think places like Lorraine and Elyria, which are about a half hour west of Cleveland, are much more landlord friendly than Cleveland. As a matter of fact, I think Cleveland is becoming one of the least landlord friendly cities in the great red state of Ohio. And it's, it's getting rather annoying, right? It's still not like unreasonably landlord friendly like that dirty shithole portland uh but it's pretty obnoxious when there are nicer areas uh for landlords just down the road uh in Elyria, lorraine places like that even akron canton are even more landlord friendly right and then another thing i talk about quite often is the fact that i think the four unit apartment building is by far the best type of investment newer investors could make i say this because when you're a newer investor you probably need money you probably want to do a loan the best loan is a 30-year residential loan and guess what the biggest apartment building you could buy with a 30-year residential loan is a four unit apartment building so guess what I got for y'all today? I got a four-unit apartment building in landlord-friendly Elyria, 427 West Ave, and it is priced under 100 k y'all, 99.9, right? We got four one-bed, one-bath units. Now, I will not lie to you folks. I cannot tell a lie. I'm an honest Joe, all right? I cut it, call it like I see it. I cut it to you straight, okay? This house is, you know, it's a little, it's a little sketch. Okay, it's a little sketch. Now we got good bones in there. We got good mechanicals. All right, like uh, the furnaces and the hot water tanks. Look at that footage. Look at that footage, man. Oh boy, them bad boys is shiny. Okay, but the units themselves, they're all a little scuzzy. Okay, now uh, these are long-term legacy tenants. Okay, they've been in there for friggin' ever, dude. 350, 470, 370, right? <laughs> That's insane, right? <laughs> like, dude, you, it's 2023. You can't live like anywhere other than this little crummy apartment for 350 a month, right? So uh, these folks all need to have their rent increased, right? As far as their leases, I think like there's two of them are like month to month and another one's got like a couple months left, right? There's nobody out there with like full year leases. You know, it might be a couple months, uh, but more or less, as soon as you buy it, you have the ability to increase with a 30 day notice, give or take a month or two. Uh, but here is the caveat to that. Cause obviously you got to get those rents up, right? You can't let people live in your apartment in friggin' Elyria for like less than half of what market rent is, right? Because market rent for all these units is going to be 750. But here's what you got to understand, folks. The units are nice, right? We have footage of the vacant unit, okay? Uh, and as you can see, that vacant unit is probably going to need like 20k at least, right? At least twenty thousand dollars worth of work to get somebody in there at 750, okay? So you got like you know Joe Blow 350, Joe Blow 370, Joe Blow 470. You, you got to get their rents up, but you don't want those Joe Blows to move out. Because if those Joe Blows move out, well, then you got to rehab each of their units, right? Because like I said, they are, you know, they're scuzzy units, man. I call it like I see it, okay? Uh, so what I recommend doing is increasing their rents but not going to market rent right away, okay? Let's not get greedy, guys. So you take Joe Blow 350. Let's get them up to like 550, right? Because when they're paying 550, that's a lot more money for you, and guess what? They probably ain't moving out because it's going to cost seven fifty to move anywhere else, right? So they're still 200 bucks 
under market. And then you run a really good chance of not having to rehab that unit. Because like I said, it's probably at least a 20 spot out of your pocket every time one of these tenants move out. Because these uh, units are, you know, they're they're older, they're scuzzy, and like the the landlord who originally uh, placed these folks, which I don't know, that might be like one or two owners ago, something like that, uh, back in the day, you know, I don't know. Either they just put him in there super, super low rent or like, you know, maybe he put him in there in like fucking 1940. I'm not sure. Uh, but the moral of the story is to get market rate tenants in there, if these these folks move out, you're going to have to spend some cash. Right. So the smart the smart investment play here is to increase the money, but keep yourself below market rent so they stay. And at ninety nine nine, you can't go wrong. It's a landlord friendly area. They don't got those pesky lead friggin' crazy lead laws that Cleveland's trying to figure out how they're going to enforce. I think this is a good move, man. That's why I have personally moved a lot of my business out to Lorain County, cities like Elyria, uh, away from the actual city of Cleveland recently, just because, like, I just feel like the atmosphere out there is just so much better for us landlords. Again, nowhere near that shithole Portland is the city of Cleveland. Cleveland's still all right. It's still in Ohio. Like, them folks in Cleveland, they try to get a little wacky, but then, like, you know, they get slapped in the, you know, in, in the, on the wrist or slapped on the top of the head a little bit by, like, you know, the laws and the Constitution. Like, y'all remember when that uh, Cleveland Housing Court judge, she was not allowing landlords to evict tenants if their houses weren't lead certified. And that happened for, like, I don't know, the first, like, year or so that the uh, new lead laws came about in the city of Cleveland. But then uh, some landlord groups got together and they sued because, like, that's not the law and, you know, Housing court judges, you know, in America can't just fucking create laws like whenever they fucking want to. So uh, they won and now that stuff is happening. And then Cleveland's back to the drawing board trying to figure out how to enforce their laws like, you know, without breaking other laws. Right. And creating other laws that don't exist. Right. You know, we got this whole, you know, Constitution of America thing that they have to follow and they have to follow state law and all that jazz. Right. So if you're going to be investing out here, you're still protected based on the fact that Ohio is a pretty reasonably landlord-friendly state. But again, sometimes I like to just avoid the extra layer of riffraff, and I like to go to the most landlord-friendly cities, and I think Elyria is one of them. So if uh, you can get down with all that and you're interested in buying this particular property, just want you to send your offers to my team, sales at holdenwise.com. If you want to pay cash, that's great. Send me an email, include the uh, property address, how much you want to pay, and your proof of funds. If you want to finance it, that's cool. Send me a pre-approval from your lender. If you don't have a lender but you still want to finance, guess what? I'm here for you, man. I've been doing this a long damn time, y'all, well over a decade. I've sold over $200 million worth of properties. And when you're selling properties at 50K, 60K, 80K, 90K, 120K, when you're selling them that low, and you get up to the number 200 million, you know what that means? That means I sold a lot of houses, y'all. And in that time period, selling a lot of houses to investors from all over the world, I have cultivated and built up a vast network of motherfuckers that have money. Motherfuckers that have money that they want to loan to motherfuckers like you. Okay? So, if you do not have your own lender, just let me know. I will hook you up with my list that I've curated over my entire career of doing $200 million worth of sales. And guess what, folks? If you want to invest, but you don't even want to invest in Elyria, you're trying to I don't know. You're trying to buy properties in Memphis. You're trying to buy properties in Kansas City, maybe Detroit. You like that dirty D, son? I'll hook you up, man, because those lenders, they lend in all 50 states of the USA, baby. Uh, oh, last but not least, that's how you make an offer, right? Cash or finance, right? But if before you make that offer, you want to tour that vacant unit so you can get a C for yourself, kind of walk in that living room, take in the air, give a nice little waft, smell that old stale cigarette smell, get all up in there. That's cool too, man. Just send us an email. If you hit us up before 5 o'clock, we'll get you in there same day. If it's after 5 o'clock, we'll get you in there the very next day for a tour. And then after that, you could send in those offers, cash or financed. Let's go. Do you evict those people? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, because I'm going to film in this yard. Like yeah, I do too.
I'm not seeing any active roaches in here, which is kind of nice. The ceiling's a little fucked up. All the smoke. I'm not going to get too close to the center of the room because, as you can see against the wall, now maybe you can't see, but there's a lot of bed bugs here, so. Oh shit! Brand new fridge. Kitchen. Looks okay. Needs a little updating. That leads out back to another unit. That's fucking gross. Oh, no. It's a roach massacre. Alright, how do I get to the basement without touching anything? That leads up to those stairs. Okay, maybe I can't. You have to go through the side door. Before I forget. Spider webs all over the place. All right, 13 minutes. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.